10 at 7.30 Xena Warrior Princess and at 8.30 Clint Eastwood stars in the classic western The High Plains Drifter. Stand by for another 30 minutes of amazing feats, peculiar people and all sorts of records. From the biggest to the smallest, the shortest to the tallest, it's Out of This World. Rome, London, Sydney, Copenhagen, Cape Town, LA, Seoul, Tokyo, Berlin, Moscow, New York, Buenos Aires, Manila, Paris. Okay everybody, here are our hosts of Out of This World, Rob Duckworth and Melissa Hannah. Welcome once again to an entirely new perspective on life. Just when you think you've seen it all and that nothing can surprise you anymore. You'll see something on Out of This World that'll make you sit up and think. Now, it might be the way people behave at work, at play or at prayer. So tonight we'll feature some yogis who are springing into action all in the cause of world peace and harmony. While up near the North Pole, we see the Eskimo Olympics where they indulge in strange sports like tug of war with their ears. But in Singapore, the traditional local food has given way to pizza. Try doing this with fried rice or noodles. Yeah. I always look forward to seeing stories uh, that have something to do about food because the preparation of food always gives me an appetite. Well, I always enjoy watching the chef in a Japanese restaurant. <laughs> That's exactly yes, it. I okay. love the way they chop up the vegetables right in front of you. Yes, although I'd like to see anyone juggle the veggies in this next story because these veggies, I think, have definitely been on steroids. <laughs> As we travel to the east of England, where giant appetites meet their match, the British Giant Vegetable Competition is getting underway at Bay Trees Nursery near the town of Spalding. Unloading their mammoth produce, proud gardeners need the help of seven men, as well as a forklift. Now this year, the prize vegetables include cabbages the weight of teenagers, beans nearly a metre long, parsnips and carrots stretching three metres and world record onions weighing over seven kilos. Now the judging is rigorous as officials inspect for weight, width and chicanery. One year they actually found lead weights inside a marrow but this time around the top onion takes home a prize of a little over five thousand Australian dollars. At a kibbutz in northwestern Israel, banana growers have genetically engineered an amazing new fruit. It's shaped like a banana, it sort of feels like a banana, and it even smells like a banana. But it tastes like an apple. That's right, an apple. Some call it a banana apple, some call it an apple banana. And some people just call it plain old delicious. Beans. The texture is of a banana, but the flavour is of an apple. Researchers at the kibbutz are studying the unique fruit's thin skin and hope one day to export this hybrid. Who knows, one day they may have to change that old saying to read, a banana a day keeps the doctor away. In South Africa, there's a baobab tree that has a circumference of over 50 metres, making it one of the biggest trees of its kind. But that's not its claim to fame. A local farmer has turned this giant into a tourist attraction. By building a bar inside the tree. <laughs> baobab trees are naturally hollow, so it didn't take a lot of effort to turn it into a meeting place for farmer Douglas Van Heerden and his family. He's hoping to open it to the public. Who knows, he could franchise his pub tree and have branches everywhere. a good idea for men who want to get out of the house for a while. Uh, back shortly, darling, just going to pop down to the tree. Oh, well, it would certainly be a good meeting place for conservation groups. Yeah. Save the forest from the inside. Yes. Now, let's go from forests oh. to a place where there are no trees at all, the Arctic. Now, there they have very long winters, and you may wonder what they do to pass the time. <laughs> 
In Fairbanks, Alaska, we take a modern look at ancient Eskimo traditions. The history of the native peoples of the Arctic is rich with tales of strength, endurance, agility and concentration. And every year Alaska's native Indians carry on their traditions at the World Eskimo Indian Olympics in Fairbanks. Now the opening ceremonies evoke many ancient rites. Native elders light symbolic seal lamps. Competitors march in wearing costumes of their native tribes. And then the games begin. For centuries, Eskimos have battled the brutal conditions of the Arctic land. These games reflect the physical and mental discipline demanded by the region's harsh conditions. The premier event is the two foot high kick. Using amazing balance, the contestants kick a ball over two metres with both feet and land on two feet. The Nalukatok, or blanket toss, is based on an old Eskimo way of stalking animals when hunting. No part of the body goes untested. This is a tug of war using the ears, but the most gruelling event is the ear weight. Competitors walk as far as they can with a 30 kilo lead weight hanging from one ear. Ow. It hurts a lot. But after a while it gets numb, then you just keep on going until it slips or until you give in. And at the end, Olympic medals are awarded to the winners. Some might call them survivors. Oh, that story gave me an earache just looking at it. And to think they do all of that just on whale blubber. Oh. It's amazing. We'll be back after the break with these stories and a lot more. There's no blubber in this story, but just about anything else you like to eat, as long as you don't mind lining up for it. And a surefire way to quit if you want to stop smoking in a hurry, as long as you don't mind a smoker's cough for about three weeks. <laughs> On E-News this week... Your backstage pass to rub shoulders with the stars. Tune in for all the behind-the-scenes gossip from the Golden Globe Awards. There, meet the woman behind our stars. You may not know her, but you know her work. Kylie, and Oak, obviously. Jason, Craig, Guy Pearce. Plus, he dug up the dirt on Wacko Jacko, Christian Slater and OJ. I was there, so I set the record straight. Now, Hollywood super snoop sniffing down under. Be watching E-News, e 8 o'clock Tuesday on Tam. At Fantastic Furniture, pay no deposit and just $15 a week for this $19.99 package deal. Two two-seater sofas, coffee table, buffet and hutch, TV unit, double bed and mattress, two bedsides, large tall boy, billy robe, dining suite, leather easy chair. All this just $19.99 or $15 a week, plus a free colour TV. Fantastic Furniture, 15 stores, phone 13 33 15 for your nearest store. No deposit and $15 a week for all this, plus a free TV from the package deal kings. CDB, you want to groove, you want to dance, you want to get lifted. CDB's new album, Lifted, features the party starter, Good Times. Along with their unforgettable new single, Back Then. CDB, Lifted. Australia's hottest album. Don't waste time. Only Versatile Ceramics can show you Australia's largest range of tiles with a huge range of bathroomware to make selection easier. No matter what you've seen, just wait till you've been to Versatile Ceramics. We're back on Out of This World. Now, I think we really needed that short break to take in some of the amazing stories we've collected from just about every part of the globe and also to give you a little bit of food for thought. Ah, food for thought. Now, that's beginning to sound like a cookery show. Yeah. Let's continue with the culinary theme with some stories from Singapore, Thailand and America, all with one thing in common, food. <laughs> Pizza's in the air in Singapore, thanks to a unique father and daughter team. 
Now on tour in Asia, this champion Italian pizza throwing duo is delighting crowds with their pizza spinning acrobatics. <laughs> Antonio Conti is the reigning European acrobatic pizza champion and his 19 year old daughter Ilaria is the current Italian pizza acrobatic queen. <laughs> Monty and his daughter even give crowd members a chance to try their hands at tossing the dough into the air. But the dynamic pizza duo is a tough act to follow. Care for a bite to eat? Well, on the tropical island of Phuket in Thailand, residents and tourists set the record for the world's largest buffet. <laughs> it's around 1,500 metres long. Officials from the Guinness Book of Records were seen measuring the all-you-can-eat buffet table, but it took them longer than expected because they had to stop for lunch. <laughs> In Tennessee, these people could eat their fill at that buffet and never put on weight. They sing and pray their weight away. Participants at the Way Down workshop don't go anywhere near a gym to lose their excess kilos. Instead, they go to church and pray for weight loss. The program was started a couple of years ago by Gwen Chamblin when she started supplementing fat-free drinks with the Bible. What I do in this program is teach people how to um, stop bowing down to the refrigerator and uh, how to bow back down to him. The message of Chamberlain's program is a simple one. Trust in the Lord and watch the inches disappear. <laughs> now that's what I call a great weight loss program. No special diets and no exercise. Yeah, you've just got to stop bowing down to the refrigerator. Though that actually sounds like an exercise program in itself. Uh, every time you go to the fridge, you could do sort of 25 bowing exercises, or something like that. Well, will you give it a try and report back to us? OK. And that's not as strange as some people's ideas. When it comes to their health, over in Brussels, they're flexing their muscles. Thanks, Melissa. At the Palace Hotel in Brussels, members of the Natural Law Party are gathering for a global convention. The Maharishi Mahesh Yogi is the party's spiritual leader and as part of this special meeting, an unusual effort is being made to bring harmony to the European Union. Party leaders say these bouncing yogis are a more spiritual form of transcendental meditation. They claim the yogic flyers can neutralise negativity across Europe, reducing crime rates and the spread of disease as they perform. And apparently, the more they fly, the better the karma. As part of the Great American Smokeout in California, one man tries to prove just how disgusting the habit can be. The aptly named Gia Mouth is smoking 155 cigarettes at once. That's nearly eight packs, a new world record. It's a huge achievement for Mouth, especially since he doesn't even smoke. If this doesn't get you to quit smoking, nothing will. In Taiwan, a new health elixir is sweeping the country. It's a concoction that's said to turn grey hair black, fight wrinkles and even battle cancer. And the mystery cure? Drinking urine. Today, over 200,000 Taiwanese are practicing urine therapy as a daily health care measure. They call it Golden Spring. You don't need to see a doctor to drink urine and you don't have to worry about price hikes since it's your own stuff and you can have it whenever you need. The taste of urine varies and for beginners the first mouthfuls can cause a skin rash and diarrhea but regulars swear by it and if you can't stomach a glass of Golden Spring the cure is also available in pills and syrups. On Out of This World, we bring you all sorts of stories. And that was just one of them. No comment. But we also come up with stories that will not just amaze you, but often inspire you. Now, we've had stories before about people whose indomitable will and spirit has seen them overcome the most severe handicaps. But in Peru, there's a man whose artistic ability has triumphed over the odds that would have defeated many people. Felix Espinosa lives and works in Lima, Peru. Born without hands, he's refused to let his disability limit his artistic accomplishments. To paint, Espinosa uses his mouth. 
With determination, he's become a very special artist, painting in a variety of styles. But now, the Peruvian painter is taking on a new and more painful challenge, wood carving. I have to hold the chisel in my mouth and push. 